Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. If you are new to our channel, subscribe to get our weekly tutorials on AutoCAD and other design software. And in this video, I will be talking about properties in AutoCAD. Geometry in AutoCAD by default has properties such as color, line weight, and line type. And you can see that under the home ribbon, if you look here on the properties section, you see here we have color, we have line weight, and we have line type, okay? And by default, this is always set up by layer, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So here we go, this is the layers, this is the line weight, and this is the line type. You will see that I already loaded the um, line types here. You can check my line type video to see more information about this. And the same for line weight, I changed it from millimeters to show the values in inches instead. I also have a video for that. So, and now back to properties in general. This area right here is just a short list of the properties, uh, properties of geometry in AutoCAD. So this is by default all the geometries. They have a color, they have a line weight, and they have a line type. Now, there's an expanded list of properties in AutoCAD which we can access by clicking here on this arrow. This is one place we can access it and it will open this menu. There's another place where we can access it is from the view ribbon. And here you can see properties. And another way to do it is of course to type properties on your keyboard. And the last option is to actually type control one or hold control one on your keyboard and that will open it. All right. So it's pretty common people actually dock the menus in AutoCAD. So for me, I usually dock the properties menu to the right side and it just makes it easier to read and, and reference pretty much. All right. And let's see here. Okay. So after we open the properties uh, menu, you'll see here on the top it says no selection because right now I don't have anything selected from the model space. Uh, and if I select something, let's say this arc, it will show me the properties of this arc. And it says here, this is an arc and I'm going to click escape. And the same here, this is a circle and it tells me that this is the color and these are the rest of the properties. Now, I want to talk in general about the properties menu when you have no selection on and what is this information that we're seeing. So you can see here we have general properties. These are plot style properties, view properties and miscellaneous properties. So let's start first with general. So right now what properties menu is telling us that any new geometry we will create, it will have this color, white by layer. It will, have, it will be sitting on layer 0 because all geometry in AutoCAD need to be on a layer. And then the line type, line weight, transparency, and so on. So let's say here I create a line. I'm going to click here. And you can see, of course, the line came out in white. But let's say here we change the color to red. And then I'm going to start a new line. And here you go. The new line will come out in red, right? And I'm going to turn this back to by layer all right so by default the color line type and line weight and also here transparency all these properties are controlled by layer in AutoCAD and for the most part that's what you will be doing later on when you use layers but uh, but for now for 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 the purpose of this video I will show you I will show you line type and line weight uh, actually, we, I, I want to show you here about line type. So right here, I have this um, I have this rectangle drawn here, and I'm going to select it. And I want to show you that the color here is yellow for this, of course, that's visible. But the line type is border, and it's not visible here, and we can't, we, we can't see it because we need to do an adjustment here on the bottom. So annotation scale. So for now, I'm just going to click quarter inches and then regenerate. And now the slide type is visible. Okay. Now that was regarding line type. Just make sure to change the scale here, the annotation scale, and that will make it visible. All right. Now the, and of course, please refer to the line type video that will talk much more about line types. 
Now regarding line weights, also here line weights by default, you, we don't see the difference between the lines. So for example, if I select this circle right here and I'm gonna change its line weight from by layer to let's say um, 20, oh actually it is showing it. I guess I had the setting on. I will show you how to access the line weight setting here basically from the bottom right for from the drafting settings right here and see here this burger menu it says customization gonna click on it and then from here we want to see the line weight option Be by default in AutoCAD this is not uh, active on my end I guess I had it on already so I'm gonna click on it and you can see here that all the line types here like all the lines sorry they have they look like they have the same line weight but if you want to see the difference you need to have the line weight option uh, on here or highlighted in in blue okay and this one let's say we change this to something much more thicker and here we go and you can change the properties of uh, objects in AutoCAD either from the short uh, menu here properties under the home ribbon by usually I uh, like usually using the the full-blown properties menu will be easier and anyway I recommend having having this menu open all the time because it helps you reference a lot of information all right so that was regarding general for now um, I want to talk about the plot style plot style is something we don't change here we don't change it on the properties this relates to printing later on and you don't usually change it from here so all of these settings you can leave them as is and anyway uh, most of them are grayed out which means you can't change them anyway so that was regarding plot style now looking at the view properties basically AutoCAD is telling us where we are right now in the model space it's giving us the coordinates it's giving us how big this view we are looking at which I'll be honest with you for most architects and interior designers drafting in AutoCAD this is mostly irrelevant for you so you can also ignore it and anyway it's a grayed out you can't change it all right and last one miscellaneous and again these are the properties when you have nothing selected just remember okay so miscellaneous this is the annotation scale which we changed here on the bottom just so we can see the line types it has to be it has to be anything but one to one you want you want usually to choose different scales I just stick to quarter inch scale to make it visible basically this is how this line uh, this line type will appear when we put it on a view with a quarter inch scale assigned all right so that's regarding miscellaneous other than that you have the USC icon which is this icon right here we can say no it will make it invisible we can say no here and that doesn't change anything I'm gonna click yes and regarding miscellaneous when you have nothing selected um, this you're not going to do much about it except annotation scale feel free to change it from here or from the bottom from the drafting settings okay so now I want to show you the properties of objects so uh, uh, objects or geometry in AutoCAD they share the general the general properties so for example this line right here it will have the same uh, general not necessarily identical but I mean like the property itself not the same values but they have the same properties as with uh, uh, a polyline over here and I'm gonna click escape so let's select here the polyline or the uh, the rectangle shape here and you can see that it also has the same general properties and the same for arc the same for circle and also I even have here a dimension I'm gonna select on the dimension and the dimension properties list is very expensive and I'll talk about it in a minute okay so they all share the the general properties however when we select a line I'm gonna select it you'll see property says line here and here usually after general it will tell you relevant properties or relevant information just for the line so for example here um, we can see the length of this line from looking at the properties menu and here it's saying 63 feet 6 inches 5 sixteenths uh, when we select a polyline and of course it will say polyline on the top it will give us the area and the length and you can expand here we're seeing area in square inches and you can also see it in square feet then I'm gonna close this okay 
and then for the arc we can see the uh, the arc length and also the area but for the most part I think it's good to know what's the arc length you can reference it from here and this is for the circle we get the radius diameter circumference and the area and now back to dimension I'm gonna select the dimension here and here we go we have a full list of uh, properties that control this text element because text elements in AutoCAD are are made of so many different elements such as the text over here we have extension lines on the side we have arrows here represented in in tick marks or architectural tick marks so because of that there's so many properties that control it and anyway for the most part you control your your dimension you control it from something called dimension style rather than from the properties menu and I will leave that to the annotation video or to the dimension video all right so that was regarding the uh, that was regarding like the general information about the properties menu there is one more thing to mention about it is that you you might have noticed that when we selected uh, two objects right here it's giving us the count so right now it's saying all and two so if I select one more polyline it will say three and you understand now that it will show us how many objects are selected right now and then if you click on this drop down menu it will break it down for you that there are five lines one circle one arc and three polylines so I really like the properties menu for counting uh, especially with the blocks when you create blocks in AutoCAD so for example here I have this uh, table uh, right here actually since I have this one here let's select the block I want to talk about the block and mention that here it will say block reference and it will also give you the name of this block on the miscellaneous portion of the properties menu now since we have here four let's actually move them and I'm gonna move them down to this area right here I created this floor plan earlier uh, this one I scaled it uh, bigger just to make it kind of fit in with the rest of the geometries here okay so when I select the chair one of these chairs and I'm gonna right click with the mouse and then I'm gonna say select similar and here you go it will select all the blocks with the name chair in in the in the model space essentially and here you go we get the count we have a total of 76 chairs or blocks with the name chair in this model space okay and um, pretty much that was it regarding properties in AutoCAD